Bowling Green's Classic Rock, D93. It's the Tony Rose Morning Show. And, uh, of course, uh, Tuesday night uh, on FX, it was The People versus O.J. Simpson, the American crime story kicking off. And on the line with us, a real honor to have uh, Fred and Kim Goldman join us. Of course, you guys, uh, how, how are you doing today? How are you guys feeling? And uh, what's your take of uh, what we saw Tuesday night on FX? Uh, I, I'm, I'm still, I think, kind of processing what I what I saw um, in the first episode. Um, I'm, I'm tired. I'm a little overwhelmed. I'm feeling a little um, kind of back where I was 20 years ago with a little bit of more knowledge and <laughs> patience under my belt, but um, you know, I mean, this is this is rough. You know, yeah. it's not just you know mourning a loss of my brother. It's now you know being kind of turned over and regurgitated and and dramatized, and it's hard to to kind of suffer through that a little bit. When did you guys find out they were doing this? Uh, we found out uh, through I think some articles that we read. Um, we were not contacted. Uh, we were not at least put in the loop, if nothing else. Uh, we found out like everybody else found out through articles and through um, media uh, advertising, so to speak. Mm. Um, how do you guys feel about um, Travolta and Cuba Gooding Jr. and David Schwimmer, some of these actors that... Uh, obviously, I know you guys were probably fans of uh, before this came about. Uh, what's your take on them now? Do you have do you, do you lose some respect for them, uh, or are they just doing the job? Uh, how do you feel about them? Well, personally, they're doing a job. Uh, it would have been nice again if the various actors had reached out to the people that they portrayed. Uh, that would have been the right thing to do, that I, I believe. But I think what the anxiety of this whole series is how much is going to be honest and how much is going to be fictionalized. And we won't know that without watching. And that's kind of a double, double-edged sword. It's tough to watch, and we don't want to, but we're going to have to. If you guys could uh, tell the folks out there who are watching this, watched it Tuesday night, continue to watch it, um, what would you tell them? I mean, do you want them just, I mean, obviously it's turn the TV off, you know, whatever, but what do you want them to take away from it? Is the fact that this is a little bit Hollywood and it's going to be exaggerated to points uh, for the sheer ratings of it? Well, I, I, you know, we're not, we're not boycotting the show. You know, that's yeah. not the message that we're sending. Um, we're, we're not telling people not to watch. We're telling people, you know, watch with a discerning eye and mm-hmm. realize that it is, a dramatization that's based on somebody's interpretation of the trial. So we're already a couple degrees away from what actually happened. So there will be parts that will be truthful and there are parts that won't be. And and we don't even know what those are until we go through the whole process. So, you know, there's plenty of places that people can can learn about the story and, and read about it. I mean, if I did it as a perfect example, it was the killer's quote-unquote confession that he put on paper. Um you know, there's 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 20 years of history that people can find out if they're curious, and just to take it with a grain of salt, and you know, remember that there were people that were devastated by this entire tragedy, not just our families in the Brown, but all of the people that were involved. Um, I just I wish that there was a little bit of humanity mm-hmm. that would be attached to it. Uh, of course, talking to, to Fred and Kim Goldman, uh, father and sister of the late uh, you know Ron Goldman. Um, it, it's hard to believe that that's been. Over, over 20 years ago now that these events happened. I know you guys still think about and mourn every single day. And, um, you know, with that, we, we you know, obviously share our, our condolences and our thoughts and, and to you guys as you guys go through this. Uh, People versus O.J. Simpson, the American crime story on FX, uh, debuted Tuesday night. And um, like I said, people are buzzing about it. They're talking about it today. And I know you guys are, what's the question that you guys are getting, what, what are the questions you guys were getting asked before this, and, and what are you guys getting hit with with today, and what do you expect to get to, to continue to get asked? Well, I, I, I think we're going to get continued to ask how much of it's true and how much of it's not, yeah. um, and we don't know yet. Uh, we certainly hope that since we know that this is not about the victims in theory, and it's not about whether he was guilty or not. Mm-hmm. It, this is in theory all about the attorneys. Mm-hmm. And if that's it, we hope that they're shown for exactly who they are and, and were, and that the defense attorneys come off um, 
again, as the way they were, which was sneaky and dishonest, using every trick in the book to get their client off. Uh, and if that's the case, um, that part will be okay. Are you still in contact with any, any either side of this thing 20 years later? Are you guys still in contact with anyone from it? I'm, I'm in contact still with uh, the detectives and Chris Darden and Marsha Clark every once in a while. And, um, you know, I mean, we still, they're, they're very much a part of our lives. They were the only people that were advocating for my brother. Um, and I have a tremendous amount of respect for them. And, uh, you know, this, this is an ever ever green story, you know. Unfortunately, there are, there are lots of people now with the internet and people being able to send messages of love and support, and and that's fantastic. We also get met with people that tell us just get over it and move on and stop your complaining. Well, it's, um, it's not their brother, I, right? It's not their son, you know. And, <laughs> so. and, and I don't expect anybody to understand. Yeah. And this is part of our process, and and this is how we mourn. And we don't really always get a choice to turn it off. Um, even if we didn't speak out about it, it would be happening anyway. So this is our way of honoring Ron and other victims of crime and, and their legacies. Well, again, um, I appreciate you guys so much uh, taking some time for us here at uh, D93 and uh, uh, continuing to, to fight the fight. You know, uh, thank you guys so much. And I, I hope that this, uh, this show plays out and uh, you guys walk away from it um, feeling OK. I know it'll never bring back Ron, but at the same time, I hope you guys are able to walk away from it feeling OK at least. Thank you.